Action 7 News. We were the first to show you these images of kids standing in the aisle and on the seats of a school bus. APS is now saying that what you see here is not an overcrowded bus, but rather undisciplined children. Tonight, Target 7 investigates by going to the Public Education Department for answers. Here's John Cardinale. These parents say they were outraged when they saw their children coming off of packed buses on the first week of school. This is ridiculous. Kids, these kids are sitting on top of the seats. Windows roll down. Someone's going to fly out. And why can we not get another bus out here? After our story aired showing these images, Target 7 did some digging. We wanted to know if there are laws that govern bus overcrowding. So we went to the state's Public Education Commission to find out. There, there's a regulation that, that states if they're going to do 3-3 uh, three, three seating, which is three three students to a seat, um, each student should have uh, 13 inches of butt space, essentially. That means buses like this can fit 71 elementary school children. Antonio Ortiz of the state's public education department says larger children like junior high and high schoolers are required to have 15 inches of space and typically about 48 can fit on a bus. So there shouldn't be overcrowding. They should have a seating charts in the districts would be providing the seating charts if, if they have those. Yes, seats are assigned, but you see a lot of movement during the first week or so as everything is solidified. APS spokeswoman Monica Armenta says after our story aired, the district contacted the company that owns the bus. The district contracts with six different bus companies to transport children back and forth to school. She says that they don't believe that particular bus was overcrowded. They have, however, acknowledged some of their buses are overcrowded. That particular bus has had an issue with student discipline, and so students should never be standing or sitting any way on a bus other than what they are taught is protocol and safety. So what are the consequences if a school district is not following state regulations? That would be up to the school districts. I mean, they're responsible. Every school district has a transportation director and transportation staff. And so it would be up to the school district to make sure that they're following those laws. We also reached out to the Albuquerque Police Department. In this email, they tell us there is no statute in the state's traffic laws to pull over a bus if it's overcrowded. However, right after we get off this, uh, this interview, I'll be reaching out to uh, the transportation director there at APS and just to discuss some of their issues, what they're dealing with. We wanted to count how many students are going into the buses for ourselves. So Target 7 set this drone above the school to see how many students are going onto the buses. This is one of the schools parents say had overcrowded buses. It has kids from first to eighth grade. Remember, about 48 to 71 kids can fit into a bus depending on the age of the child. Using our drone, we counted roughly 28 kids in this bus, 15 on this one, and 24 on another. Armenta said one of the reasons we didn't find packed buses is because for the past two weeks, the district has been working with its contractors to fix the overcrowding. They also changed routes and eliminated some stops for buses that were packed. This isn't the situation anybody wants to be in, but in all fairness, it also isn't a situation that has quick answers. So we appreciate everyone's patience and want them to know that um, we really are trying. Armenta says the problem APS is facing is a national one. School districts across the country are facing bus driver shortages. APS and its contractors have been offering to pay as much as $20 an hour to entice people to become drivers. Until they have enough drivers, it's all aboard as safely as they can. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. We also reached out to the National Association for Pupil Transportation. They say bus overcrowding has been a problem for years and want parents to contact their district with any concerns.